So I figured out, welcome back by the way. So I figured out what's going on with our sewage here. We are at capacity, basically with our sewage treatment and our sewage processing. So we have put it off long enough. We need to get a water treatment plant and stop polluting our darn, our darn river. That's what we need to do. So wastewater treatment. Where does it want? It wants the road connection. Let's put this over here. And we will uh, shut you down. Let's go to underground view and get rid of. That connection. And we are now able to treat a lot more sewage than we are producing. We're out putting a lot more water than we're consuming. So that'll work. That'll work for now. That should make people happy. We are severely losing money though. Severely losing money. So we're gonna have to find a way of boosting that. That's for sure. One way we're gonna boost it is population. Bring in some more housing. Let's bring in some medium density housing. Let's do some zoning, like I said. I wanted to zone off some districts. District creation tool. That's one district. This will be another. town that we started with will be a third
Let's take this and we're gonna call this. River Valley City. River Town. Hillsville. How about that? Hillsville. So uh, there we go. What do we get? A busy town? Big town is when I get high density housing. That's what we really need to get to. Well, the only way to get to that is to continue to build. Over here. Let's let's start our growth over here. Intersections, we want to go back to this intersection. Let's just do something silly. And tie another intersection in like that. Right? It's like it's like one one exit down is the next road town. That does seem a bit dumb though. this in order to maintain yeah, let's do this one all right we're gonna pause and a driving advisory has been issued for the immediate out. area due to poor road conditions please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve this has been a local public service announcement Pending updates to our power grid, the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks. Oh, we and don't have power grid problems anymore. Guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service announcement. That was truly superfluous. Masterful counterpart. You're listening to Second Moon Radio, the station of levitated tastes. Don't touch that dial. Okay. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. Put that down. And... Parallel tool. Oh, 
little jar. That's okay. Four-lane road in here, and now let's look at this. Go straight up, and then around, maybe. Oh, I don't own this plot. We can't go straight up. Take a look and see where our resources are. We will pause there. So right coming off of our interstate here, let's come out this way. Business park. A technology corridor, if you will. to zone in some businesses and we don't really need offices yet but this is where we're gonna put we're gonna put offices over here when we can Healing bus lines after we completely destroyed that. Pathfinding, it's going around, figured it out. A 
more demand for high density housing. Huh? density housing I think we'll satisfy that with row housing this time and back to our unsatisfiable low density housing demand Careful here. Look, industry. Put some industry in that way. And let's try to see what happens. Zone and little industries. On this road here. Hopefully, we get some agriculture industry along there. That kills that demand. That killed that demand pretty darn fast. We do have office demand kicking back up. Film Actor Mansion. Nice. Okay, we need power. Of course. So there's a trick. If we provide the lighting to our bridge. That is thought we missed a spot. It's like that is supposed to then provide power over here. Now water and sewer. In those nodes. Now they're happy. Okay. 
So saying we're going to put in a office park. Here. Just like that. thought that this would be like those outlet malls. So yeah, come right off the interstate. You've got shopping, you've got businesses here, and then we can populate in some Maybe that's the housing. The Polaris Suites. That was truly superfluous. Masterful counterpart. You're listening to Second Moon Radio. The station and then... of levitated tastes. Don't touch that dial. We're we're live um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. I'll Meanwhile, put in some. delays and drive safe. Local stargazers are in for a real treat tonight. Oh, the Aurora Borealis here. is expected to light up the night sky. That's right, Jim. Don't forget to look up this evening. It promises to be quite a sight. Just like that. There. Let's develop that area out quite a bit. Let's take a look at our signature buildings. Film Actor Mansion. Sweets. Uh, is this a like a hotel? snaps that way. So if we put it So if we brought a regular Busy town, thank you. Thank you. Unlocked ore mining. So no, it's it's housing. Okay. So, 
for mining. Can be set up on natural ore deposit. Coal mining. And then we had just general stone mining. It's there. Ore mining is the same. We're going to run it there in a minute. Okay, there we go. Now we got that operation going on. And the whole, there we go. The whole reason for that is to make our importation of things less. So we're importing less goods at this point. We have a surplus of just about everything we could need. We are shopping. We've got a couple offices that have moved in. Our house is here. And we have more time. So. We want to lock that. Uh, we're going to get to oil at some point. So buy those now. And that was going to be more of the town. And I think that's where we're going to leave that. Okay. Development. We're going to need some stuff. Time we got a hospital. I was thinking about some things like postal sorting. I had issues with postal sorting and so have some other folks, but I'm wondering if it works better because we now have different districts. And I'm wondering if, right, one of the reasons postal sorting wasn't working as maybe expected 
was because we only had I didn't have different I didn't have a post office in different districts right but if you put a post office here and you put a post office here and you know we have a post office over here and we have a post office over here that means one two three one two three four districts so if we have four post office and then we put a central processing post office will they run trucks out to each post office and then interchange mail that's the way it seems like it should work so we might uh we might just experiment with that bedford let's just call this uh let's just call this bedford like that and we should also look at her different policies at some point but good old bedford here again so we gotta dive down into the valley right about there and then I really wish I could keep this view up I'm gonna loop this way and around. I'm gonna target that tree right there, I guess. Let's see what that looks like. Hmm. Not bad at all. Okay. So, chickens. Chickens do not need fertile land at all. So I don't want to waste fertile land on livestock. that uh we know we know we can do textiles Producing surplus of 51.5 tons of that. We are producing surplus of 23 tons of that. The city will be experiencing and we have a deficit. Blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's so website. Let's put in some more plan for these temporary events. Just this textiles. Local public service announcement. Local authorities are urging the public to conserve water and reduce the burden on the city during this water shortage. 
Consider installing a low flush toilet, cut back on watering the lawn, and shower with a friend whenever possible. This has been a local public service announcement. Shower with a friend. You're listening oh. to Second Moon Radio with Jay That's an Thomas one. And we're pervading some of the finest classical music on the air. Keep that dial right here. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming. Okay. As the area is attracting more high end. I think what we're going to do bringing the latest in is our neighborhood. I might to now shop for designer shoes yeah, we could while do. sipping a fancy local Jarva mate or so my wife livestock here. That's good for business and good for the community. And I can put in We'll be back after this. Livestock there. Industry Bedford is on the rise, and Bedford is all about well, agriculture. That floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. Bedford is an agriculture boom town. That's what Bedford is. And vegetables. Grain. One more road through here. Just about done. Livestock and one more right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fix this one and then map in all of these fields for our massive agriculture area. And then when we come back, for our next episode, we'll populate out Bedford, see where on earth we are with overall needs, right? We still need to populate in Huntsville some more, right? Riverton, Rivertown needs some more stuff going on to it. And, uh, well, River Valley City is doing quite well. We could use a little bit of an expansion over here. Our landfill is okay 102 out of 545 tons we're not doing too bad with our monthly budget because we now are having an excess of electricity there but uh we need to bring in a lot more residents We've got 6,000 jobs. Only 4,300 people are employed. We have unemployment of 0.4%. 
We have four more people moving in. And then we have, uh, well, we need to get some birth rates up in order to compensate for our deaths. But yeah. All right. I think this build out is going well. I would love to know what you all are thinking down in the comments below with respect to our build. What do you think of Huntsville? What do you think of Bedford? And it's a massive ag empire. And we're going to advance up here and do some stonework. Also, once we buy that tile, we might buy, uh, we might buy this tile over here. To, uh, to do some industry or well really these two these tiles to do some industry to help squelch that demand so we'll do that at our next upgrade because our next milestone is going to be big town where we get high density housing and oil drilling till next time Happy gaming.